Good day everyone, my name is Micaela e. Torres from BSBA 3C. My topic today is Alliance Management Capability. Strategic alliance create a paradox for managers, although alliances appear to be necessary to compete in many industries, between 30 and 70 percent of all strategic alliances do not deliver the expected benefits and are considered failures by at least one alliance partner. Given the high failure or at least disappointment rate, effective alliance management is critical to gaining and sustaining a competitive advantage, especially in high technology industries. Alliance management capability is a firm ability to effectively manage three alliance-related tasks concurrently often across a portfolio of many different alliances. Alliance management capability have three under. First, partner selections and alliance formation. Second one is alliance design and governance. And third one is post-formation alliance management. Partner selection and alliance formation. When making the business case for an alliance, the expected benefits of the alliance must exceed its cost. When one or more as the five reasons for alliance formation are present to strengthen competition position, enter new markets, hedge against uncertainty, access critical complementary resources, or learn capabilities, the firm must select the best possible alliance partner. Partner selection and alliance formation have two. First, partner compatibility, and second one is partner commitment. So, partner compatibility and partner commitment are necessary condition for successful alliance formation. Partner compatibility capture aspect of culture, cultural pit between different firms, while the partner commitment concern the willingness to make available necessary resources and to accept short-term sacrifice to ensure long-term reward. So, next one is... Alliance Design and Governance Once or two or more firm agree to pursue an alliance, manager must then design alliance and choose appropriate governance mechanism from, from among these options. First is non-equity contractual agreement. Second one is equity alliances. And third one is joint venture. For example, in a study of over 640 alliances, researchers found that the joining of specialized complementary assets increased the likelihood that the alliance is governed hierarchically. This effect is stronger in the presence of uncertainty concerning the alliance partner as well as the environment task. In addition, the formal govern governs mechanism and their organizational trust is a critical dimension of alliance success because all contracts are necessary in complete trust between the alliance partner plays an important role for effective post-formation alliance management. Effective governance, therefore, can be accomplished only by skillfully combining formal and informal mechanism. Next is Post-Formation Alliance Management The third phase is a firm alliance management capability concerned the ongoing management of the alliance. To be a source of competitive advantage, the partnership needs to create a resource combination that obey the BRIO criteria. This can be most likely accomplished if the alliance partner make relation-specific investment, establish knowledge-sharing routines, and build interfirm trust. How to make alliance work? Um, trust is a critical aspect of any alliance. Interfirm trust entails the expectation that each alliance partner will behave in good faith and develop norms, reciprocity, and fairness. Mm. Such trust help ensure that the relationship survive and thereby increases the possible of meeting the intended goals of the alliance. Interfirm trust is also important for past decision making. 
To accomplish effective alliance management, strategy scholar suggest that the firm create a dedicated alliance function led by a vice president or director of alliance management and endowed with its own resources and support staff. The de dedicated alliance function should be given the task of coordinating all alliance-related activity in the entire organization. Taking a corporate-level perspective, it should serve as a rep repository of prior experience and be responsible for creating processes and structure to teach and leverage the experience and related knowledge throughout the rest of the organization across all levels. Research show that the firm with a dedicated alliance function are able to create value from their alliances above and beyond what could be expected based on experience alone. Next is pharmaceutical company Ella Lilly is an acknowledged leader in alliance management. Lilly Office of Alliance Management, led by a director and endowed with several managers, is its far-flung alliance activity across hierarchical level and around the globe. Lily Process prescribed that each alliance is managed by a three-person team, an alliance champion, alliance leader, and alliance manager. Alliance champion is a senior corporate level and executive responsible for high-level support and oversight. This senior manager is also responsible for making sure that the alliance fits within the firm existing alliance portfolio and corporate level strategy. Next one is the alliance leader has the technical expertise and knowledge needed for a specific technical area and is responsible for day-to-day -day management of the alliance. The third one is alliance manager. Physician within the office of alliance management serve as an alliance process resource and business integrator between the two alliance partner and provides alliance training and development as well as diagnostic tools. Some companies are also able to leverage the relational capabilities obtained through managing alliance portfolio into a successful acquisition strategy. As detailed earlier, Ella Lili is entire department at the corporate level devoted to managing its alliance portfolio. Following up an earlier 50-50 joint venture formed with ICOS, maker of the $1 billion plus erectile dysfunction drug Cialis, Lily acquired ICOS in 2007. Rather than focusing on developing an alliance management capability in isolation, firms should develop a relational capability that allows for the successful management of both strategies strategic alliance and merge and acquisitions. The business environment is constantly changing. New opportunities come and go quickly. Firms often need to develop new resources, capabilities, or competency to take advantage of opportunities. Strategies also known that firms need to grow to survive and prosper, especially if they are publicity-traded stock companies. A firm corporate strategy is critical in pursuing growth. To able to grow as well as gain and sustain a competitive advantage, a firm must not only possess BRI or resources, but also be able to leverage existing resources and build new ones. The questions of how to build new resources, capabilities, and competencies to grow your enterprise lies at the center of corporate strategy. That's all. Thank you.